Good morning. From Italy, Rome. Rome, Italy. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Super early. <laughs> Wait, this is the first thing. First things first. I'm a realist. Mm -hmm. Wait, wait, this is the first thing. First, first things, things first. first. I'm a realist. realist. So first of all, we want to thank you for, for joining us. And if this is your first time watching, you can subscribe to our channel here. Tell them about us. Why would they subscribe? Oh. Well, we're a full-time traveling family and we have some pretty cute kids. Mm -hmm. that's... And that's why people follow us. Yes, yeah, we have two reasons to subscribe to our channel. One, two, Dorothy Manila. You can also follow us along on Instagram. And the Snapchat. And the Facebooks. Mm hmm Here's the links. Check us out. What was your first impression of Italy? My first impression was that Garrett's hair was no longer unique. <laughs> Italy is <laughs> land of the man virus. <laughs> and do I like to be like everyone else? No. So my hair's down. <laughs> 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 Everybody has a man bun here. <laughs> and it's like the thick, dark hair. So, so I, I go to the gym. Usually I can spot you very easily. <laughs> but this time I was like, uh, I don't see any man bun. Seriously, There's like 12 man buns sticking out. Seriously, a little bit about myself. I like to be unique. I like to stand out. And then I go to the gym and every man is sporting the man bun and everyone is in skimpy clothes. That's usually my thing. So. <laughs> Also, I was like, shoot, gotta wear my hair down and be a little more modest. <laughs> when we first got here, we went and stayed at Sheridan Roma. Cool! We should save one of these and give it to Allegra when she comes. Okay? Oh, wow. You have 24 hours. Finish this. <laughs> Do you accept this challenge? It's on. Manila, you can either sleep in a crib or you have your own big bed. Are you a big boy or a baby? Baby. No. Are you a good boy or a bad boy? Bad boy. <laughs> pizza, pizza. We were really stoked because that day they had arranged a pizza making class for us. With the coolest chef ever, just the nicest guy. And Dorothy and Manila loved it. Oh, it was so cute. So I'm very opinionated on pools. What makes a good pool, what makes a terrible pool. And whoever designed the pool at Sheraton Roma, good you job. get it. You get it. <laughs> <laughs> and Garrett's you a have, huge sucker for deep ends. Yeah, pools just don't have deep ends anymore. The Sheraton Roma has a deep end, and it's a big deep end. And so as soon as I saw I was like, Dorothy, let's go to the pool. I'm going to teach you how to dive. But I called it a dolphin dive because immediately by calling it a dolphin dive, it got exciting and she was down and we did it. Okay, we're gonna learn right now. You're gonna do so cool. Okay, okay, ready? You wanna try? Here you go. Yeah, uh-huh. No! <laughs> Dude, get up. That was good.
Okay. You see how your head went first? Yeah? Okay. Dolphin Dive by Dorothy. Go. Shared and we took a taxi into town and we were so excited i remember just like driving through and seeing the walls of the city being like this is like ancient stuff yeah like, that, that was my first impression is like i feel like i had never seen anything that old like it was crazy and everything's just big everything's like, big yeah the walls the buildings they just build things bigger well, and there's like the combination of like ancient rome stuff with the Colosseum, and then there's like you know the renaissance rome where it's just like the beautiful fountains oh, and, and it's buildings all beautiful. and stuff and then we walked over to piazza navano and that's where, where there were street performers and we had a really good dinner just kind of like sitting out oh just like this like picture perfect like night in italy Flashback, ten years ago, no, five years ago. Ten years ago, at least. I was in high school, and I had a really good friend named Andrea Egan. Now Andrea Ingersoll. She got married to Austin. They had two kids. One, Allegra, A.K.A. A.J., and their little boy, Archer. Not quite ready for Europe. Sorry, bud. <laughs> we invite all of our friends to join us wherever they want to, and some people just. Some people are just talk. Oh, yeah. But the Ingersolls, they came. Yeah. And it Props was, to you guys. again, one of our like favorite, favorite weeks. Because <sighs> we got to experience Rome, which neither of us have been to Rome. And Dorothy could not have been more Dorothy excited. Dorothy was so excited. We put a little like countdown on the mirror. So every morning she knew how many days until her friend came. She had never met her friend. She didn't know AJ before this. But they were ready to be best friends. And they are one and the same. They're the exact same person. <laughs> They're both doing shy faces right now. Dorothy, we've been watching some of your videos. Let's go to the room. Mom, come here. She's so excited. Tell her, hey, tell her about gelato. What's gelato? Ice cream. Do you like ice cream? Yummy, yummy, yummy. Mizzy for the kind. Mint. Mint. Ooh, I love mint. Are you excited? <laughs> What did she say her mermaid name is? Ella. <laughs> Your friend is coming. Yeah. Yeah. The cutest moment, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I didn't catch this on film, but it's forever in my mind because it's one of my favorite memories. We're at the airport, Dorothy made a sign for her friend AJ and we're waiting and we're waiting. And Dorothy, like no matter how excited she is for something, usually her excitement means poker face. I'm gonna Kinda be shy. calm, quiet, and shy at first and then she'll warm up to things. Not this time. AJ gets off the plane and, okay, let me see if I can explain this right. AJ gets off the plane, comes through the doors, Dorothy sees her for the first time and immediately Dorothy just leaves my arms and just sprints to AJ. And, and gives AJ her the is just hug. like here, like I'm here. And Dorothy just wraps her up in the biggest And that's what I'm in the back, just kind of like, <laughs> she's so happy. Yeah, we were so excited for Dorothy to have this time with a friend. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's amore, that's amore. When the world seems to shine like you've had too much wine, that's amore, that's amore. So ring, ding, a ling, a ling, ding. Bella. 
So we went to the airport and we picked up our friends. And we took them out to a little Airbnb that we're staying at about 30 miles outside the city. And it was awesome. And tell them why we got this place. This is the, this is the reason we got this place. The main reason is not because it had a pool, or because it was so cute, or located in a vineyard, but on top of all that goodness, it had a diving board. When I found out it had a diving board, I just immediately pictured like sharing that experience with Dorothy and teaching her the ways of the diving board. Dorothy loved to swim, but she had never been on a diving board. So we splurged to go out to this villa and enjoy diving boards. <laughs> and that we did. So we would wake up, we'd have breakfast, we'd go work out, and then it would be super duper hot and we would jump in the pool. You want to touch it, Manila? Soft. Good job. Can I touch his toe? Okay. Oh my gosh, look, a butterfly. So the Ingersolls were an absolute blast. Our very first morning together, we went and had an incredible experience where we went and oh, yeah. we had a private tour of the Vatican. That was, that was our first morning. That was yeah. unreal. We had an incredibly kind gentleman reach out to us and he is on the patrons board and he said that he could arrange a private tour of the Vatican for us. So we jumped at the experience knowing how like precious that would be and we, oh, it was incredible. It was life-changing and incredible. It, it really was. And we got there super early in the morning, so the crowds were very small. And we went and saw the gardens, the Sistine Chapel, the Basilica. It was just like, I, the history there, it was really, really incredible. <laughs> Also, one of my favorite rooms was the one painted focused around seeking truth, where each different side was like how to find truth through education, through the judiciary system, through art, through mm -hmm. painters. Yeah. yeah, that was one of my We favorites. walked into a room and Gary was really stoked because he saw his favorite painting. He didn't even know it was there. I honestly didn't know it was there. It's been my favorite painting since I was younger, and yeah, it was there. So it was incredible. And we were in the room for a few minutes, and then Austin and I turned around and there. 
there's a lot to see in Rome. So a few of the days we would go in and we saw, you know, we got to see everything. We saw the Colosseum, we saw the Pantheon, we saw the Cherry Fountain and all the other fountains. Being in the city is amazing. <laughs> Go! about when you're in Rome is when it's time to eat it's not like you have to like look up and try to seek out some cute cafe you can just be walking around every corner straight. yeah and the food food's good should we talk about food real quick yeah America we thought we had had Italian food no no like I don't know what we've been eating <laughs> the Italian food here is so good I was kind of worried because I'm like, Italian food that's going to be heavy and that's going to be Lots of pasta good. and bread. Not the healthiest, but the quality that they cook it at, it tastes good, you feel good, it's really good. It is really, really good. What's your favorite Italian dish? I think I really like the carbonara. Right. It was really good, what about yours? I like oh. it all. Wait, I take it back. I had a caprese salad every meal. Yeah. Every meal. That was her go-to. We really love just the classic spaghetti and meatballs. The ravioli here was really good. Ah, uh, gnocchi was so good here. Everything was so good. Yeah. Good job, Italy. <laughs> So one evening we go to a nearby village and like they have these villages at the, on the top of these mountain hills and they're just absolutely dreamy. It's one just storybook. The, the hill, the village, the castle on top. Yeah. So the series called Tivoli and we just go and we walk around and it was just beautiful. These streets were so charming. But it was really cool because it wasn't very touristy. Like, yeah, it felt like you were just stepping into Italian life. Yeah. And, you know, we walk by this bar and there's a whole bunch of people sitting and watching football. Yeah. And Garrett was like, this is, this is me. I'll, yeah. I'll be here the rest See of the See you guys. And then we walk by a barber shop and I was like, let's do okay. it. Okay. Yeah, when he saw this Italian barber shop, Garrett was like, it's going down. And props to my buddy Austin because it's like, hey, Austin, you want to get a shave from an Italian barber? He yeah. He was like, yeah. He was down. Down for whatever Italian event. So, I don't even know if you can tell, but Garrett got trimmed up. This four to five inches off. Yeah, he needed it. Take off his glasses and try it. Kids are awake. Is that vanilla? Yeah. I think so. All right, we're gonna go get our kids. Just to warn you, you know our children if you've seen our videos before. Storm's coming. <laughs> no, stand up. Say hi. Hi. Can you say ciao? Ciao. Say ciao. Ciao. Say ciao. 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 <laughs> Birdie, are you still sleeping? Oh, stretching. Dorothy, give a smile. <laughs> oh, good Dorothy, morning. can you tell the camera how you know Italian? Okay. What? How do you say fork? A fork. How do you say pizza? A pizza. How do you say table? A table. How do you say Dorothy? A Dorothy. <laughs> how do you say pizza? A pizza. 
<laughs> How do you say cup? How do you say fork? A fork. How do you say car? A car. You speak Italian? A car. A gelato. How do you say ice cream? Gelato. Yeah. Okay, now say grazie. Grazie. That was a good rolling R. Bye. Okay, guys, say bye. Bye. Say ciao. Ciao. <laughs> See you guys.